My general approach as a physician is I would rather know than not know. So the first thing I always tell people is if you're concerned, talk to your doctor about it. But in terms of general concerning GI symptoms, we certainly would want to hear about any change in bowel habits. So what do I mean by that? It's okay to have a slight variation from normal from day to day, or you went out and ate something different and it didn't agree with you, that kind of thing is okay. But if it's a sustained change over time, um, then that we certainly want to know about. So anything that's not normal and doesn't go back to normal is concerning. If there's any blood, we would always want to know about it. Again, it doesn't mean there's something catastrophic going on, but I'd always want to know about it and figure out uh, if we need to take any further steps. Um, and any pain or anything bothersome along those lines, we would want to know. The other thing sometimes people don't realize is certain dietary intolerances can be indicative of an underlying problem. So, for example, if suddenly you're unable to tolerate any gluten, it doesn't necessarily mean you have celiac, but it could be indicative of celiac, which is an autoimmune condition that impacts a small bowel and certainly warrants GI investigation and follow-up. So that's something we'd want to know about as well. The reason we want to know about some of these symptoms is they sometimes are normal, meaning we're not worried about them, they don't necessarily warrant investigation and we can offer reassurance. And that's sort of my favorite kind of visit with a patient when I don't have anything terrible to tell them. Um, but sometimes these slight alterations in bowel habits or presence of bleeding can be indicative of a problem uh, that we're not seeing. So for example, some of the inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis can present with a fairly dramatic diarrhea or abdominal pain that doesn't go away, rectal bleeding, so it doesn't necessarily mean you have those conditions if you have those symptoms, but it certainly warrants investigation. Same thing for colon cancer. So we tell people to look out for things like an acute or a sudden change in their bowel habits that doesn't go away. They suddenly can't pass stool or they're passing a lot of blood in the stool. That can be sometimes indicative of a colon cancer. Doesn't mean that it is, but we'd investigate it further.